Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Viennese. If you are new here, I'm so happy that you are here. And if you are not new, thank you so much for coming back. Today, we are going to be trying on the NARS Soft Matte Foundation. Now, this is not a new foundation, but it is new to me and I've wanted to get my hands on it. This is the final look after using it. I love this look. So if you're interested on how I got this, let's get into the video. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna start with is my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. And we're just gonna put some of that on our face. I have already did a little bit of eye makeup and did my eyebrows already because I just wanted to get into how this foundation is going to look, which I'm so excited about because something about matte foundation makes me excited for this season and I don't know if it's because I started wearing matte foundation in the winter when I first started wearing it or I think it's just because in the winter I want a matte face because in the summertime I want to look glowy you know so something about doing this matte look is going to be so exciting. This is the foundation that I picked up. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. This is the packaging it comes in. And I love NARS packaging. It's just so sleek and so my style. I love it. And this is nothing new. This has been out for a while, but it's new to me. I have been wanting to try it. And so I got my hands on it. This is what the packaging looks like right here. And I picked up the color Makeo. It's medium deep four. Now, when I was in there, I went to the shades and you know I tested it on my hand. This one was the one that I felt like would fit me the best. Now, when I got home and put it on my face, I was like, this might be too light because I don't know if the lighting was different in Sephora or what was going on, but I learned from a makeup artist to always match your foundation to your neck because you want your full body to be the same color. So if my face is dark and I get a dark foundation, it's going to look kind of not even because my chest is lighter. But if I match it to my neck, my whole body, my shoulders, my neck, everything's going to flow and just match. So with that being said, I'm going to show you guys how this foundation looks on my neck comes in a little squirt bottle and I'm just going to put it on my neck and you guys see that color it's like a perfect match but when you spread it out see that it just blends it just blends right in but when I put it on my face it's it's lighter you might be like mm. But this is the color that I want it to be. So let's go ahead and apply some more. I'm just going to use my finger and apply it to my face all over. I like to just put little dots all around like so. And if I need to add more, I will. Using my flathead brush, I'm just going to go ahead and Blend that in. So while blending this out, I can see that it is a thicker consistency. Not super thick, but it is thick to me because I've been using more skin-like products that are like more thin. And this is thicker and it's, it does dry down faster than what I am used to. Because So you have to kind of go faster. And I actually feel like that maybe even using a beauty blender for this would have been even better, but I'm just gonna go over and press that in with my damp beauty blender. 
And yes, you all, this is how the face is looking without any more makeup. We're going to finish the face, but I want you all to get a clear view of how this foundation looks. I love it. I feel like it's a good shade match for my complexion. And I was thinking about going down a shade because there is a shade. Um, what is it? I can't remember the name. It starts with the M. Hold on one second. Okay, I found it. It's Marquises, and I'm using Makao or Makao, 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 I think. But the shade below is Marquises, and I know that is a deeper shade. And so I'm thinking since it's wintertime, I'm only going to get a little bit lighter. So I'm feeling like this is going to be a perfect match. Now let's go ahead and finish this face so we can just get the whole look. But I'm loving, I love a matte face. I do. It kind of reminds me of the NYX Bear With Me. That's the last time I've used a matte um, foundation. We're going to go in with my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. And I use the color Deep Cinnamon. And I'm just going to go ahead and highlight the areas that I would like to be highlighted. A little on my nose, a little on my forehead. I love this consistency. This is one of my favorite concealers and always will be. And we're going to go ahead and blend that out. I love this concealer because it is blendable. It does not dry down really fast. And I feel like with this foundation, that's going to be even better. You don't want to put a whole lot of products on your face that are hard to blend because then you'll start to look cakey and splotchy. And that's not and that's not what we want. Then I'm going to go in with my Sephora Best Skin Ever Concealer because I want my under eye to be a little bit brighter. That deep cinnamon is like the exact shade. And so I just want my under eye to be just a tad bit brighter. So we're going to add that just to our under eyes. I'm going to let that sit for a minute. While that is sitting, I'm going to... Go ahead and bronze. I'm not going to do a lot. I'm not going to use any cream bronzer or anything like that. I'm just going to go ahead and go in with my Juvia's Place in the color Deep Dark. Using this top shade right here. Just going to pat in there. And I'm going to bronze. I'm going to go a little heavy on the bronzer today just because I feel like being super bronzy. What is your favorite part of makeup? I think mine is definitely bronzer. I feel like bronzer just pulls everything together. If your makeup's not looking the way you want it to look, I feel like bronzer just brings it all together, you know? Put a little bit under here. Then I'm going to take a little bit more of that, that top color right here, and I'm just going to bronze my nose. All right, that's been sitting long enough. I'm going to go ahead and blend out that concealer. Use a tapping motion. So we have a very pretty and bright under eye. I'm loving how this is coming out. We're gonna go in with the Cinnamon Bun Setting Powder by Huda Beauty. And if I can find my sponge. I love this thing. Love it, love it, love it. I'm just gonna take some of that powder, dab into there. 
take some off and first it's going to set this this is such a beautiful color setting powder do you all see how that just made it like flawless and filtered this setting powder is so good So I'm just going to press that in. And I kind of bring it down. And I'm going to bring it down around my mouth. Take the excess and just bring that up on my head. I'm going to take a little bit more and I'm just going to let it bake like so. Okay, I'm gonna let that bake for a minute and then while I'm doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips. And then we'll just talk about what we think of this foundation when it comes with all of the makeup. All right, so we're gonna let that bake and I'm gonna go ahead and work on my lips. I'm gonna go in with my MAC Chestnut Lip Liner right here. And I'm gonna grab my mirror because I wanna get even closer. You guys, you have to be surrounded by mirrors. <laughs> we want all the angles. So we've lined our lips. I love that color. You see how it's just this perfect chocolatey brown. I have found nothing that compares. Let me go ahead and dust off this bake. All right, and for the middle of my lips, I'm gonna go in with this color right here. This is the Juvia's Place lipstick in the color Lady. It's such a pretty, taupey beige brown color and i'm just going to apply that to my lips you see how it's like a golden color almost it is so 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 good I'm gonna go back in with my liner and just fix that up a little bit. I'm going to also go back in to that bronzer and just put a little bit more over top. I'm keeping this look matte because I just want this whole look to be matte, matte lips. I'm not gonna use any highlighter. I just want a matte look because this is what I love for the winter. You guys, I'm so excited for winter and a matte face. You guys, I'm, I'm loving this. What do you think? I mean the shade, okay. Now I'm going to add on some lashes. We'll come back and talk and see what we think about this foundation. Oh, had to come back because I almost forgot to do something very important that spray my face. And I'm gonna go in with my NYX Matte Finish Spray because we wanna be matte, we want to be matte. I would suggest that you use this before you put on mascara and I had started doing the bottom, but I caught myself. So we're, let's go ahead and spray our face. I like to take my beauty blender even after I've done that because I don't want any splotches. And sometimes when you spray your setting spray, it can leave splotches. Take it from me. I've seen it happen before on myself, on myself. <laughs> so I'm just gonna kind of help that setting spray go in there. All right, guys. I'm gonna do the lashes and then I'll be right back. And all right guys, we are back and this is the final look. I love the finish of this foundation. What do you think? I think this is gonna be my new winter foundation because this has given me a flawless 
look do you guys see how this has just settled in i did add a little bit of eyeliner underneath and i added my lashes if you're interested to know which ones i use i use the lash couture masterpiece one of a kind luxe lash they're by kiss these right here and they did send these over to me to try and i love them too they're so beautiful and wispy but thank you so much for hanging out with me today tonight whatever time you have chosen to watch this video Thank you so much for being here. Please, if you liked it and you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel because of course I want you to stay here and turn on your notification bell. It'll let you know when I upload more videos and we can hang out some more. I love you. Jesus loves you. And I will see you on the next video.